flyweights next up on our fight card. Elena Reed, Yolanda Gonzalez. Elena Reed goes by the nickname Baby Doll. The 20-year-old from Phoenix is a junior at Arizona State. Reed, a former kickboxer, is now 9-1-2 with three KOs. At 38 years old, Yolanda Gonzalez is 18 years her opponent's senior. She's an attorney in New Jersey. Yolanda is 7-4-1 with three KOs also. Scheduled for six rounds, James Erickson, the referee, going by the unified rules. Two seconds, welcome, ladies. Yeah, come on. Teddy, a Give college student against an attorney. You did, you got it. Can Let's be interesting. It. And as you said, 18 years of age difference in the favor of the younger Reed. Well, if things don't work out for Reed, maybe can, she can ask Yolanda Gonzalez for a job in her law firm. Gonzalez will be trying to prosecute Reed tonight. She is a former assistant prosecutor from Patterson, New Jersey. Gonzalez. And Reed comes out as a southpaw and an aggressive southpaw. Right after it, and she floors her with a straight left hand, does Elena Reed. Yolanda Gonzalez goes down. That left hand coming from the southpaw stance, where the orthodox fighter is not used to seeing that punch come from. Right now, I didn't get a chance to say this because they came at it so quick. But Gonzalez giving up her height, and she paid for it, allowing the shorter read to get in close enough to deliver that knockdown punch. Gonzalez, five foot seven. Reed in all pink, five foot three, but she has already scored the knockdown against Gonzalez here in the first round. The people out there, the good people watching, don't need us to tell them that Gonzalez should use a height. Looks like there's a cut right in the corner, the right eye of Reed. Right in the corner of the eye and the nose. Reed's people will have to deal with that in the corner. We will have to see how psychologically and Reed is cut by the bat. As the second knockdown is scored is now pretty severe, but she scores her second knockdown of this first round. Getting in close, catching Gonzalez going straight back. What stories to be told in a minute 30 of boxing? We have one fighter that's already scored two knockdowns. The other one has scored a cut against Reed. Gonzalez trying now to establish some range, some control over distance, using her legs, trying to catch Reed coming in. Big action from the female super flyweights on Friday Night Fights. Loser. Friday's funniest play, Sports Center Club Eastern ESPN. Here's the second knockdown of the round scored by Reed. Bottom right hand corner. She gets Gonzalez going straight back. That southpaw left hand puts her down. And look at the pressure coming in now in round number two by Elena Reed. Doesn't fight like a baby doll, does she, Teddy? And was not affected by the cut as a fighter's temperament. Well, maybe she is affected. Maybe she's trying to get rid of Gonzalez before any more damage is done. James Erickson with the warning, separates him. You take a look at the punches in round number one. Yolanda Gonzalez went down twice, but she was throwing. Plenty of heart by Gonzalez. Her problem is her feet are too wide now, losing her balance. She gets no leverage when her feet are square like that, no power. And she gets too close to a shorter opponent. Makes too much of a target. Gonzalez, a tall woman. But does not use a height. Gonzalez lands with a left hand of her own. Well, if Gonzalez is going to turn this fight around, it's not going to be from doing things technically right, it looks like. It's going to be from heart and experience and just trying to break down the younger Reed. Gonzalez. Elena Reed in that first round. There's a gash on the inside, almost on the bridge of the nose, the inside corner of the eye, the right eye of Elena Baby Doll Reed. See, there's two problems here, Joe, with Gonzalez. Plenty of heart, no doubt about it. 
But as far as her idea of how to go about using her skills, gives up a height, gets in too close. And to make things doubly worse, she throws wide punches. And when she throws wide punches, she can get caught in between. And she just got caught with another one of those straight left hands by Elena Reed. Fights from Yakima, Washington. Time for our Friday Night Fight trivia question. Teddy, here's a good one for a New Yorker. Who did MSG matchmaker Teddy Brenner pull out of the crowd to fight former champ Jose Torres after Jimmy Ralston walked out just before the fight? You got your choices. We're going to give you some time. Look it over. We'll have the answer a little bit down the road. Round number three between Elena Reed and Yolanda Gonzalez. Gonzalez went down twice in the first round from straight left hands from Elena Reed. Reed suffered a cut in that first round, just above the inside of her right eye. You know that old saying, pick your poison? I don't know which one is worse here, Joe. The fact that Gonzalez gets in close and gives up a height, or the fact when she gets in close, she's wide with her punches. Like that. And every time she does that, Teddy, that left hand sneaks right in and scores for Reed. One thing Gonzalez does not give up is her attitude, her resolve, her heart. Plenty of moxie. Scheduled for six two-minute rounds. Once again, as I said before, Joe, if Gonzalez is going to turn this fight around, and turn it around, she must after being on the floor in the first round. Oh, wide punches. She gets caught in between. But if she's going to turn around, it's going to be technically the wrong way. She's going to try to just out heart Reed. And right now, that's proven to be a problem. She's leaving herself wide open. Loose legs on Yolanda Gonzalez, reaching for anything. Hooking the head now of Elena Reed. It's very simple. Gonzalez gives up a height, gets in close, throws wide punches, reads punches a little shorter, a little straighter. She's landed. But anytime Reed goes straight back, Gonzalez will be with her. Watch out, watch out. Watch. Entertaining fight here, Joe. Teddy, you called it. Lots of heart from Yolanda Gonzalez. She survived halfway through. This summer, Austin Powers. I am a... Bottom right-hand corner. You know, lawyers get away with things once in a while. And Gonzalez, look at her glove. It touches the ground. She might have gotten away with a knockdown that was not counted by the referee there, Joe. James Erickson didn't see that. Should have been the third knockdown scored of the fight for Elena Reed. This is round number four, scheduled for six. Baby doll Reed in all pink. The power punches through the first three rounds. Gonzalez, very active. She's thrown 147 more efficient effort out of Reed. Well, what Gonzalez is trying to do is pull a line out of that great movie, The Raging Bull. When Jake LaMotta said, after beating up Gennaro, not pretty anymore. Gonzalez is trying to make Reed not pretty anymore. Gonzalez has stayed in there. She's got a strong mind, strong will. Graduated from Rutgers with a degree in psychology, so she knows the mental side of this sport. Through three rounds, two rounds to one on Teddy's scorecard. Of course, first round with the knockdown, a 10 8 round in favor of Elena Reed. Don't discount the power of being a lawyer and the power of having tremendous heart. Gonzalez doing everything wrong, but trying to make it right. And nice she's jab. having success this round, just with her fortitude. Here in Yakima. Well, Babyface Reed not only had the shorter punches, but she showed the attitude, the resolve of a real fighter coming back after being tested by the very game, Gonzalez. There is the 38-year-old attorney from New Jersey, Yolanda Ga Gonzalez. She was game, but she just ate too many left hands. 
Teddy, here's the action in that fifth round that put an end to this show. Once again, Gonzalez in too close, allowing Reed to be where she wants to be, inside. And Reed knows what to do when she's inside. Keep those hands moving, keep them short. And the referee had no choice. The very game, but outgun Gonzalez gets the fight stopped. Elena Reed, her 10th win as a pro. She's now 10, 1, and 2 with four knockouts. This was stopped 135 into the fifth round. Well, Reed started out kickboxing two years ago. She switched to boxing eight months ago. And in that span, she has carved out a nice little niche for herself. Elena Reed, TKO win, her 10th as a pro. Brian and Max, good action between these female flywoods.